Hey everyone. Now I'm going to get an upgrade to my internet connection here at home. I'm going to get fiber to the house, to the premises. So uh, at the moment I've got the old uh, copper line coming in from the phone line and that goes to a you know, modem here and then through the router and that. So what I plan on doing is having the new fiber box somewhere round about here and I want it all cabled through nice and neat. So I'm going to do a lot of prep work before they get here because they're not going to do it how I like it. So I'm just going to go through what I've currently got and then go through the process of uh, getting it ready for their upgrade. So I'm on the outside of the house here and I'll show you what comes in from the street. So I've got a black cable from the street and then a phone line that goes into the kitchen. Now just behind here, have a closer look. What you can see is this conduit here goes to the street down the pit there and that's the cable that comes in so they'll probably just use that as a draw wire for the fiber so it should manage to come in from the street okay now the one that goes internal to the kitchen that's just kind of shoved through here so i'm going to have to prepare that with a draw wire for the fiber that's going to go to the garage not the kitchen so here in the kitchen where i've got this power wall readout i've got the um the phone line down the back there i've just shoved it down the wall so from the outside it goes to here and then from here it was doubled up to go to the garage where my modem is so that phone line then comes into the garage here on the patch panel and I've just marked it phone and that goes down currently just temporarily to this modem here and then out as ethernet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this same phone patch here to go to the wall where the new NBN unit's going to be. So when it comes out of it, it'll come to this patch here and that'll just say NBN. So I'm just going to move some stuff around today and get ready for this. So what I'll do is I'll just shut that Raspberry Pi down and then uh, pull that out. I can't even remember how I mounted this thing. <laughs> it's so rough. It's been working well for a few years though now. Almost five of them just sitting there doing its thing. Okay, so here's what was behind there. The um, phone and ethernet that I originally had. So the grey one's the one that comes in from outside and you can see I've doubled that off and gone to the garage. So what I'm going to do is take these off and just put the grey one here for now and run the modem here. So I can use this cable for where it's going to go. This is only temporary, so I'm not too fussed about how this looks. I'm just going to slap it in there. Oh, fuck. Of course, the other one went down the wall, didn't it? I'll fish that out. Done it before. I'll do it again. Anyway, there's my phone line, just from the from the outside. So I'll put my modem in here and get that up and running while I find that other cable. Now, actually, I don't need to fish that other blue cable out because it's going to come out anyway. So that's fine. I'll just pull that out from up in the roof. All right, I've got a bunch of conduit here ready to go and some bends here too. Now, the rules say that you can only have a maximum of three of these for some reason. And um, this has to be the NBN stuff, which it is. So as you can see, it's 20 mil uh, comms conduit, but not just any. Oh, no. It has to say uh, NBN on it. So anyway, that's what it is. It's the right stuff. So that's what I'm going to use. I also got the glue to join it all up as well. Now the existing comms cable's here, but you can't see it, it's actually tacked to the stud, so I can't just use that as a draw wire, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to fish one out myself. I've chiseled out a bit more space next to the uh, internal comms cable, but um, as I found in the roof, it's tacked to the wall. Okay, so what I did was to chisel a bit more out here, finally get there, pass the snake down, well, this snake was down there, with a little bit of a um, hole in the end, and I just got a coat hanger and, and fished it out here. So. Um, now I've got a cable line ready. So here's the top end ready to go. So at the top now I've got that rope and I've just stuck some of the conduit through there and it's going to have one of these angles here going down. But I'm just going to look in the roof and roughly do the run first. In the roof I've got the conduit here and heads off to that outdoor bit where I was before. Past all the existing <laughs> electrical cables because the uh, switchboard's over there. So that'll go off to the garage. All right, so back out here, I've got the snake out the other end here and my rope from down there. So what I'm going to do is unravel all this, because I have to, and then join it to the snake and pull that through. What I'm going to do now is put a bit of this uh, glue cementy stuff. Put it around this side, not the other bit, so that when I put the cover on, it won't slide into the bend. Oh, shit, stinks. That way, the goopy shit comes out this side and not inside the tube. That's ready to sit back in there now. 
That should be it. The rope's nice straight down the wall there. Now I found a picture of the uh, unit that goes in there with its dimensions and also the thing that it goes into. So that's in here and the frame of it. Now apparently the frame is that big. So just by that picture, I've kind of worked out that the device itself should be this size. So I've cut this piece of paper out to be that size and that hole will be where the fiber comes out of the wall. So this is gonna be my, my template up on the wall. All right, so here's my template. It's gonna go there somewhere. Now, there's no studs behind there because the stud's here where I bolted the rack to. So that's gonna go there with just enough space so I can put a power point there afterwards. So what I can do is put that hole there and try and run that rope through to here. All right. Clips piss me off. Alright, go up higher here. Let's see what I can see. Okay, here's the top of the wall. So you've got the corners there, and then the uh, the top of the wall here that I'm just going to drill through, and I should see that hole that I just drilled on the wall inside and be able to pass stuff through there. So what I'm gonna do is drill through that with this, which will get that conduit through. If I choose to, we'll just run the cable through. Okay, I've drilled the hole, and you're probably not going to see it here, but I can see through there the light from the, um, the other hole that I put in on the inside. So that should be easy to get to. So here's the hole on the inside, and I can see the light up there. You can't really see it, but you can see it's there. All right, I've got the main part of the conduit run, and I've just got a rope hanging out the end here. So what I'm gonna do is glue those joins in the, in the roof, and then cut this to the right size. Right, so now I've got my rope and Cat5. So the rope's gonna be to pull the fiber through, obviously, to go into that uh, modem media converter, and then the ethernet that comes out and goes to the old um, phone sorry, on the patch panel here. All right, so I've finished that now. I've got the rope through there, the angle, and I've got the Cat5 and this pipe gonna go down that hole there, which I don't know if you can see. That goes down there and fits in. And I've just got to glue this, and that's, that's pretty much done. Right, so there's the um, conduit for the fiber going down that hole, and also the Cat5. And it's all joined up, and uh, it's pretty much done. Morning, mate. Hey, mate. Yeah, for your ambient boost, so. Yeah, for well, man. Yeah, yeah. Do it, yeah. I didn't expect a whole army. No, mate, he's just hanging around, mate. You don't love him. Oh, yeah. Nah, it should be alright, because you've done the rope through. <laughs> <laughs> should be. Should be okay. Should be alright. It will, it will well, be alright. Okay. You've done the rope, so you'd be happy. Coming out of the uh, existing conduit that I had, if you can see, is now a new piece of fibre from the street. Just wrapped up here and terminated behind there for the next bloke when he comes in to put the um, internal run in. So from the wall there, they've got the run that goes down to the pit here, but that's not where it terminates. It actually terminates to one down the street, way down there, which has um, got that multi-port thing on it that I'll show you in a picture. So the first thing they did was put the snake in the conduit to go out to the street. And they said that was pretty simple, wasn't broken or anything. So out on the street, there's a pit like this. Now this is um, for all the copper stuff here. Uh, that goes off to everyone's house and here's where the snake comes out from the, the port that goes to my house and they're going to run that to another pit down the street so you can see it a bit clearer here this is the copper that went to my house that's come out of there and also the snake that they just put through that hole now they had to run another snake to the pit down the road a bit where they're actually going to be getting the fiber connection from so this is down the street you can see this um, piece of fiber here is what they've, they've already run through on the snake that they had going from there to my pit and they've got this MBM box here, which sort of breaks out the uh, connections for all the houses. So they, they use one of those for mine and they sort of plug the fiber into it and then, you know, send it off down the pit and then up to my house. Okay, now before the upgrade actually happens, I'm gonna do a speed test so I can compare the two. So currently I'm on a 50 down, 20 up service. So what I'll do is just run a good old speed test on the router itself, which is the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so that's what I got, about 46 down, 16-ish up. And that's about what I generally get when I run a speed test. 
Now I've put the RJ45 connector on the cable here and tested it with a Raspberry Pi to make sure I've got good connectivity. And it's a good job I did that because um, the phone line that was there, I had for some reason only connected the white and blue pair, which is all you need for a phone. For some reason I didn't do all four pairs, so it didn't come up originally. Anyway, lucky I tested it, found that, fixed that, so now it's got a proper connection ready to go. So when the guys came back to do the actual install, it turned out it was the same guys who did the outside one. So I've got a funny feeling they saw that it was going to be an easy job because of the rope that I ran and they, they might have volunteered for it, I don't know. But either way, they were the good guys, so they came back and, um, and did the install. So the guy outside taped the fibre to the rope and the guy inside just pulled the rope through. So it was pretty straightforward. All right, it's in there, but I've got to get a PowerPoint down there because at the moment this is just temporarily run over there. But I'll sort that out. Right, now I've got a PowerPoint there. So, um, you know, that power cable is just for that. And it's got an IEC connector on the end there, so I just made it exactly the length. You can see, I'll take that off. You can see it's just got the fiber coming in and the Cat5 coming out, which goes to the NBN port on my patch panel over here. I also made all those patch cables exactly the length too, because I just like it neat. So that's the setup out here in the garage. And that just sits in the corner up there, right out of the way. Okay, now I'll do a speed test, and I'm doing it on the router, which is the Raspberry Pi. Now I know that's not going to have throughput going to a second machine, because it's only got the one physical NIC, so this will be faster than this desktop. So I'll just do the, the, the um, router first. And as you can see, just over 800 to 46. Now if I come back here to the desktop and do it, it'll be like half that. And that's, that's the Raspberry Pi there. So yeah, look, heaps less. That's totally expected, um, and I'm gonna look at other options for a router rather than the Raspberry Pi. So it served me well, I still want a Linux box, but um, I'll look at some other options. But I wanted the, the high speed um, servers so I can um, you know, have it there for when I check them out. So I may look at doing it even on the switch, the Aruba switch, or possibly some new bit of kit that's got you know two network devices. But anyway, the speed's there. All right, so the physical install's done, and I'm pretty happy with that. There were a couple of Japanese websites that had some pixelation, but I'll look into that. But anyway, I had some issues with the ISP following that, but that's a video in itself, so I'll do a video about the logical side of things uh, later. But that's the physical install, and it is good. So that'll do. Till next time, take it easy.